My children of primary, um, of primary three, I again welcome you to this lesson. Thank you for being on. Thank you for always watching these videos. Uh, we are going to start our lesson. This is going to be very good. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be amazing. Each and everything that you know a good lesson has. Today, our lesson is going to be very concrete and it is going to contain a lot of concepts. Please, my good children, I beg you to pay attention and see what we are going to look at today. My good children of primary three, today, you remember last time we looked at graphs, whole graph, in graph interpretation, and we were interpreting graphs. This is what we have come also to look at today. Our lesson 13 is saying call graphs. We are going today to look at call graphs. Uh -huh. Those are one of the graphs that we are going to look at. Remember, last time we looked at what you call pictographs, whereby we had pictures and we said that if one picture represents 10, how about three pictures? How about four? So, whereby we could multiply, we could add, and add. So, today we are going to interpret what you call column graphs. These are our columns, as we are going to see. My good children, our example one is saying what? The graph below shows the number of people who play games in primary three. This graph shows the number of people who play games in primary three. This is uh, this is uh, football. This is a graph. Uh, uh, this is a, this one is a column for football in a primary three for those people who play football. This one is a column for those ones who play volleyball. This one is for native ball, and the other last one is for pupils who play tennis. Yes, my good children, we do have some questions that are asked. Questions about this uh, column graph. Let us start to look at some, one of the questions that are, that are on this column graph. Uh -huh. How many pupils play football? How many pupils play football? Remember, this is our column graph. From zero up to one, uh -huh, this is one column, from one up to two, uh -huh, the second one. So, from zero, it means that uh, these are the number of pupils. Uh -huh. These are the number, you can put, these are the number of pupils. Uh, these are the number of pupils. Uh -huh. These are the types of games. Uh -huh. These are the types of games. Number of pupils, types of games. Uh -huh. Question one is asking how many people play football. We shall come and see and, and look at uh, this column of football. How many people play football in e? primary three? Uh -huh. How many? Our column ends here. It means that they are 10 what? Because here it represents the number of pupils in primary 3. So it means that they are 10 pupils. So how many people play football? Now you say 10. 10 play. Uh, that's how we say, we say 10 people play football. Uh, after there, you underline your work properly. Thank you. We go to another, another question. Another question is saying, how many people play volleyball? How many people play volleyball? We come and look at the column for volleyball. Uh -huh. How many people? This column ends here. From here, you come and see how many pupils play volleyball. They are how many? They are 60 pupils. So, you come and say 
60 pupils play volleyball. Huh? So that's how we say. After writing our answer, of course, we have to underline it properly. Uh huh. The next question is saying which game has the least number of prayers? Which game has the least number of prayers? Let us look at our games here. Remember, I told you these are the games. The games that are played by primary three pupils. Uh huh. Which game has the least? Our word here, our vocabulary is list. What does the word list mean? List, it means that here they are asking that game which has the, the, the few, the few, uh -huh, that has the least, the smallest, the smallest number of people playing that game. Uh -huh. This one is having the highest. It means that it's not the least. This one is there. This one is also at nine. But when we realize this graph, we are going to see that it is netball which is having the least, which is having the least number of prayers or number of pupils. Which game has the least number? Because we say netball. Huh? Netball has the least number of prayers. Um, so after writing your answer, you have to make sure that you unlike it properly. Huh. Thank you. My good friend, hope you are still on. Which game has the highest number of prayers? Highest. Which game is having the biggest? Huh? That's why I can say the biggest. Many. Which game has many? Uh -huh. Highest number of prayers. Many prayers. This one is having 10. Uh, football is having 10. Volleyball is having 6. Netball is having 4. And tennis is having 9. Uh -huh. Which game is having the highest? Uh -huh. From that question, we shall see that it is the column for football which is high. We shall see that the column for football is the one which is high. Hence, having the highest number of pupils playing it. So, we shall say which game has the highest number of pupils? It is football. Football has as the highest number of pupils of players. Huh. So after writing your answer, you unlike it properly. Say football has the highest number of prayers in primary three. Let us look at our next question. My good children, find the total number of prayers who pray all the four games. Find the total number of people who play all the four games. We are having how many types of games here? We are having football, volleyball, um, we are having netball and tennis. But they are saying find the total number. It means that we are going to find all the, the total number of all these children that are playing these games. Uh -huh. All. It means that we are going to get this one, we add this one, we add this one, and also add this one in order to get the total. Uh -huh. How are we going to get the total number? We are going to get the total number of children who play, who play all the four games by adding those ones in football, those ones in volleyball, those ones in netball, and those ones in 
take tennis. Let us first see, find those players which play football. How many people play football? Uh -huh. Let us count. Uh -huh. Here our problem is saying that football ends at 10. It means that they are 10 people. 10 people. All players. Uh -huh. You can say people is all players because they were people in primary 3. Uh -huh. How about volleyball? Volleyball. Uh -huh. How many? Our column is saying that they are six. They are six pupils. Or we can say six players. Uh -huh. How about netball? Netball, our column ends at four. Which means they are. Which means they are four players. Uh -huh. How about the last one, tennis? Tennis, how many? We see our column ending at here. Uh -huh. You can get a ruler and see where the column ends. Uh -huh. Put in your ruler, you realize that this column ends at here. Nine. Uh -huh. That's how you could see. So it means that the tennis they are nine. Pupils, you can say players or pupils. When you add, let us add these ones. When you get 10 players plus 6 players, what do you get? Uh -huh. You can use quick method of adding 10. Uh -huh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 plus 6. 1, 2, 1, 2 3, 4 plus 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9. Now how you can add? This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Uh -huh. Here we we'll see that they are 29. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 29 pupils. Uh -huh. Find the number of people to play all of the Four games they are 29 pupils. They are 29 pupils. Uh -huh. So, my dear children, from our graph, we have seen that they are 29 players who play all the four games that we have provided in primary three. Now, we are going to look at our last number, and our last number is. How many pupils play football more than volleyball? How many pupils play football more than volleyball? How many more pupils play football than volleyball? Here, this question means that uh, we are going to get the, to the total number of pupils who play football and also we get those ones who play volleyball. There, we get the difference because the question asks how many more. So it means that we should get the difference. That's what the question means. So, play football. Uh -huh. We say people who play football. How many people play football? Football, we see our column ending at 10. Our column ending at 10. Uh -huh. So it means that they are 10 people. How about volleyball? Uh -huh. Volleyball here, uh -huh. our column ends at 4. It means that they are 4 pupils. So, since the, the question asks how many more, it means that we are going to get the difference between those ones for football and those ones for volleyball. We get how many more people play football more than volleyball. So here we are going to subtract. Uh -huh. Subtract football, uh -huh. uh, volleyball from football. 10 minus 4. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Subtract 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What do you mean with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six. Right, we need sixty pupils. Huh? Sixty pupils. So, how many more people play football? More than volleyball? You say sixty pupils play. Uh huh. Football. Uh, please, we meet in the next lesson. Thank you.